Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to Eric Blackman Guitar. In this session, I'll show you how I play riffs to Apache by the Shadows on electric guitar. The guitar is tuned standard E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. So let's get started. Now Hank Marvin uses the whammy bar and the delay effect quite a bit for this song. But for the benefit of players who don't have a whammy bar or delay pedal, I will show you how to play these riffs without either of them. And we'll discuss later how to use the whammy bar. We'll start with the intro, which goes like this. Now for those of you who have a whammy bar, whenever vibrato is put in, like here, you can use the whammy bar instead. So vibrato or whammy bar, like that. For the intro, we'll start at fret 2 on the G string for an A. We'll go to fret 1 on the B string for a C, and then we'll go to a D note here at fret 3, and we'll bend it up and bring it back down to pitch, like that. We'll go back to the A note, C, and then we'll go to the high E string, start at fret 3, and slide up to fret 5. Back to three, and then fret five on the B string with vibrato or whammy bar, whichever one you can use. We'll do that again, but we'll play it this way. So we moved from the A to the C a little bit faster that time, like that, so. And that's our intro. Next, we'll go to the main melody, which will sound like this. For that we played the D string fret 2, the G string fret 2, back to the D string, and then again to the G string. So here we go. Then we'll go to fret 4 on the D string, to fret 2, open, back to two. So here's the entire thing. We'll do that twice. We'll do the same thing starting from fret 2 on the G string. So we'll play
once again. And once again, anywhere we play vibrato, we can use the whammy bar instead. We'll go back to our first riff. And play it that way. So it was... our next riff we want to do a little palm muting. We want it to sound something like this. We're going to play that twice. Now I'm laying my palm against the bridge and just slightly muting the notes. Like that. Here it is without the muting. And here's our muted notes. We're going to play that by going to fret 3 on the A string and the D string. Here it is. We move down to fret 2 on the D string and then the open A string. So here it is again. The second time around. Now for the next part, we'll play what I like to think of as the chorus, and it'll sound like this. For that part, we'll go to an F shape like this, and we'll play F, A, C, B. And what we did is we went to fret 3 on the D string, fret 2 on the G string, fret 1 on the B string, and then open B, back to fret 1. Fret 3, the open high E, fret 3 on the B string, fret 1, and then fret 2 on the G string. So that's... We'll go back to fret 3 and play. That was our F chord sweep. That's a B note. C fret 1, fret 3 a D, and then the open G string. And we'll follow that with this. For that, we place a finger on the B string, fret 5, 
and the high E string, fret 3, slide into it like this. That was from 3 to 5. We're going to do that again and slide up 3 frets. So now we're at fret 6 and 8 and we're going to play and on that B string at fret 8 we'll play this. So it's So the entire thing is So again, the entire thing is sliding in to fret 3 on the D string. Now we'll go back and finish up by doing our original riff. After that, we'll go back to our break, which we covered previously. Now, we'll do a variation of our main melody, which will go like this. Here's what we'll play for that part. We'll start at fret 2 on the D string, moving to the G string at fret 2, like this. We'll do that twice. Next, we'll move to the G string and do basically the same thing, except we'll play at fret 2 on the G string and fret 3 on the B string, and we'll play this. Then we'll go back to the D and G string. And we'll follow that with an A minor chord like this. Now if you have a whammy bar, you're going to wiggle that whammy bar with that chord like this.
After that, we'll go back to our chorus part and we'll play this. Now what we did here is we took the open G string and went and then we're going to play and pull off a fret one to the open string like that so then go back into it After that, we'll go back to the break again, but we'll do a variation on the break this time. It'll sound like this. For that variation, we'll start at fret 1 on the low E string, and that was down, down, up, down, down, up. We'll go to fret 5, sliding to it, fret 3 on the A string, Fret 8 on the A string. And then fret 7. So that's... And for the outro, we'll do the same thing that we did for the intro. We'll play this. And with this, and add this for that we went to fret 2 on the G string to fret 1 on the B string bouncing back and forth and I'm bending that fret 1 on the B string And that's how we'll end our song. Well, my friends, that's how I play the riffs to Apache by the Shadows on electric guitar. You can also learn the chord strumming and the bass parts by using the links in the description below this video. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.